Uh, here you can see the behemoth. He's one of our bosses. Uh, you can see from the little snapshots the uh, underlying structure of the characters. And then there's the textures on the top, which is like gives it the colour and the, the life. Here you can see the skeleton of any one of our lead characters. You can see that basically the skeleton is what we apply the animation to. The skeleton affects the mesh, which then is what you actually see in the game. Working as an animator in a team, you have to make sure that your work fits in with the style of the game. And here is uh, the same sort of breakdown of uh, one of the Buki's combat moves. So you can see the skeleton working away underneath. Here's Kren, one of our boss monsters. Here is the final uh, intro to the boss as it appears in the game. This is one of the cutscenes from the game. We don't always have to animate the characters by themselves. In this boss introduction here with Nasaria, we have to animate all the characters in one scene together, just like animating a film, basically. Here you can see uh, Maya, the package we use to uh, animate our characters. You can see the basic skeleton underneath the mesh, which is what we use to manipulate and uh, create the poses. Um, we work on a kind of keyframe basis, so I'll set a key at zero and then move to the time I want and set another key pose so the Amaya will then in uh, interpolate the gap and you can control that using curves and stuff. This is the tool we use to animate the facial expressions of the characters in the game. Sometimes Buki needs to get sad or happy and this is the tool we will use. Also, this is what we will use to do the lip syncing in the FMAs and in-game animation as well. Um, and here you can see Buki's face being distorted by the phoneme designer, which we use for all our lip sync animation. Don't. <laughs>